Please be seated. Good morning, and welcome to the change of responsibility ceremony for Des Moines Recruiting Company. Today, First Sergeant Stephen Lake will turn over the duties of First Sergeant of Des Moines Recruiting Company to First Sergeant James Mauer. Staff Sergeant Tanner Stone is presenting a bouquet of red roses to Mrs. Vicki Lake for her devotion, dedication, and tireless efforts to the soldiers and families of the Des Moines Recruiting Company. Staff Sergeant Aaron Smiley is presenting Mrs. Jennifer Mauer a bouquet of yellow roses from the officers and soldiers of Des Moines Recruiting Company to welcome her to the company. First Sergeant Jane Mauer, who assumed duties as a Des Moines, Iowa Senior Army Guidance Counselor on November 29, 2010, was born in Greenville, South Carolina on April 6, 1966. He graduated from the Southside High School, Greenville, South Carolina, and enlisted in the United States Army in Columbia, South Carolina on October 21, 1990 as a Petroleum Supply Specialist. He received basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and advanced individual training at Fort Lee, Virginia. First Sergeant Maurer is currently working on his Master's Degree in Business Administration through Grantham University. His first assignment was with the 553rd Service and Supply Battalion, 53rd Quartermaster, Fort Hood, Texas. His other assignments were the 29th SIGA Battalion, HHC Fort Lewis, Washington, 1st Support Battalion, Egypt, and the 1st Battalion, 9th, 9th Field Artillery Service Battery, Fort Stewart, Georgia. He was selected for recruiting duty in 2000. He was initially assigned to the Springfield, Illinois Recruiting Station, St. Louis Recruiting Battalion as a field recruiter. After serving two years as a recruiter, he was assigned to the Festus Recruiting Station, St. Louis Recruiting Battalion, as an on-production station commander. He further commanded the role of recruiting station, St. Louis Recruiting Battalion, as a limited production station commander. In January 2007, he was assigned to the Central Illinois Recruiting Company as a company operations and training NCO. Master Sergeant Maurer graduated from the United States Army Guidance Counselor course in 2008 and was assigned as a master trainer for the Kansas City Recruiting Battalion. His awards and decorations include the Meritorious Service Medal with three Oak Leaf Clusters, Army Commendation Medal with five Oak Leaf Clusters, Army Achievement Medal with three Oak Leaf Clusters, Good Conduct Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Medal, Overseas Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Driver's Badge, the Recruiter Ring, and he is also the recipient of the prestigious Glenn E. Morell Award. He and his wife Jennifer have three children, James, Kali, and Ashlyn. They also have four grandchildren. Jennifer and Master First Sergeant Mauer reside in Clive, Iowa. A native of Wichita Falls, Texas, and a graduate of Hershey High School, First Sergeant Lake enlisted as a soldier in 1989 in the Army Reserves. He first served as a single channel radio operator, then transferred to the 95th Division Field Artillery, located at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, to serve as a field artilleryman. First Sergeant Lake serves the reserve, served the reserves uh, in 1993, where he pursued a military career on a full-time basis, enlisting in the active Army, where he was reclassed as an armament systems preparer and assigned to Fort Irwin, California. First Sergeant Lake is serving as the First Sergeant of Des Moines Recruiting Company for the Minneapolis Recruiting Battalion for Minneapolis, Minnesota. He has served as a Senior Master Trainer for Minneapolis Battalion from 2009 to 2010, Company First Sergeant of Charleston Recruiting Company, Columbus Recruiting Battalion from 2006 to 2009, First Sergeant of Indiana Recruiting Company, Pittsburgh Recruiting Battalion from 2005 to 2006, Limited Production Station Commander for the Robinson Town Center Recruiting Station, Pittsburgh Recruiting Company, Pittsburgh Recruiting Battalion from 2003 to 2005, and as an on-production station commander at the Fairmont Recruiting Station, Fairmont Recruiting Company, Pittsburgh Recruiting Battalion from 2000 to 2003. First Sergeant Lake was the NTC Soldier of the Year in 1996, Fort Irwin, California. Pittsburgh Recruiting Battalion Soldier of the Year 1999, and Station Commander of the Year 2004 for the Pittsburgh Recruiting Battalion. First Sergeant Lake is a graduate of the U.S. Army First Sergeant's Course, Advanced Non-Commissioned Officer Course, Basic Non-Commissioned Officer Course, Warrior Leader Course, and holds a Bachelor's Degree in Business Administration with a minor in Marketing from Columbia Southern University, graduated cum laude, and holds a 3.6 GPA, along with an Associates in Science for Business Management from Barstow Community College. First Sergeant Lake came to the Minneapolis Recruiting Battalion from an assignment as the First Sergeant of Charleston Recruiting Company, Columbus Battalion, Charleston, West Virginia, since 9 March 2009. First Sergeant Lake's decorations include the Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal with three Oak Leaf Clusters, Army Achievement Medal with four Oak Leaf Clusters, Global War on Terrorism, Army Good Conduct Medal, Sixth Award, National Defense Service Ribbon, Professional Development Ribbon with the V device, and Army Service Ribbon. His awards also include the Glenn E. Morell Award, Army Recruiting Ring, 
and the Army Recruiting Gold Badge with three Sapphires. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the National Anthem and remain standing for the invocation. Staff Sergeant Lennox will read today's invocation. Let us pray. Lord, we remember to you, First Sergeant Lake and Mrs. Lake. Their time here at Camp Dodge is ending, and they are moving to new places that you have called them to serve. We ask that you keep your hand of grace on them as they head out to their new horizons. Take the responsibility of North Des Moines company here at Camp Dodd is a huge undertaking. First Sergeant Maurer is up to the task. He has been trained, given the experiences needed, and thus is prepared to take his new role. Keep him humble at all times to know that you don't have all the answers. Give him wisdom so that he will seek your favor. Grant him confidence to believe that everything he does is in keeping with your word and way. We want him to have such clarity of vision that he will be able to rightly lead us all during these ever-changing times of recruiting. Amen. Please be seated. The Minneapolis Battalion Executive Officer, Major Gregory Davis, will now oversee the transfer of responsibility. The War Department in 1840 adopted a unique non-commissioned officer's sword. It is a completely functional weapon, not intended for display, but rather for hard and dedicated use. While no longer part of the Army's inventory, American sergeants wore it for 70 years, during which occurred the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. The passing of the sword signifies the relinquishing of responsibility and authority from the outgoing to the incoming first sergeant. First sergeants may come and go, but the sword remains razor sharp. Sergeant First Class Christopher Somerville, the platoon sergeant, retrieves the sword from Sergeant First Class Matthew Vinson, the guide on bearer. The guide on bearer, entrusted with the symbol of the unit today, holds the symbol, the First Sergeant sword, the symbol of the authority of the NCO. Sergeant First Class Somerville passes the sword to First Sergeant Lake in final deference to his authority and leadership. First Sergeant Lake passes the sword to the battalion executive officer, signifying the relinquishment of his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for Des Moines Company's fine soldiers. The battalion executive officer passes the sword to First Sergeant Maurer, delegating authority and entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the unit. The new First Sergeant passes the sword back to the platoon sergeant, who then returns the sword to the guide on bearer symbolizing his dedication to the soldiers of Des Moines Recruiting Company and
Ladies and gentlemen, the executive officer of the Minneapolis Recruiting Battalion, Major Davis. Good morning. I'm going to take my cover off. Hopefully nobody uh, writes me up. <laughs> uh, I'm here on behalf of Colonel Hank, uh, who's on leave uh, with his folks uh, this morning. Uh, first of all, soldiers, you look great. Half of you uh, I know very well. Uh, the majority uh, I've gotten to know. Um, appreciate you guys being here. I know standing in formation is uh, not the easiest thing, and, and I'll make this fairly quick. Um, distinguished guests and visitors, um, Mrs. Maurer, thank you. Vicki, thank you. Uh, I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, you know, I came here in 2009. Um, uh, First Sergeant Stephen Lake, I think, came in April, uh, about a year later. Um, the battalion was doing quite well. Um, but we had lots of issues. I think a lot of folks remember RSD came down, uh, and unfortunately some things happened. Uh, some folks put you know, their morals on question. Um, so we kind of had a, a rough run of things. First Sergeant Lake uh, took a job that wasn't so easy. Um, and he remembers, I told him just the other night, he was up in Minneapolis, but you know, there was a point where his leadership was put into question, surely not by me, um, but by some other folks. And that just goes to show everybody here the challenges of recruiting. Uh, unlike any other assignment, maybe you're kicking down doors, maybe you're at NTC, maybe you're in JRTC, uh, but the use direct mission rotates every month. So you think you have a break, and your break is usually a Friday, and it's about four hours, where really you're training, and then the mission starts all over again. Um, so that's kind of the life that First Sergeant led. Um, and, and I got to tell you, right now, First Sergeant's leaving this company in the hands of First Sergeant Maurer, uh, pretty much the number one company or close to it. Uh, and I would love to see them win. Uh, I know First Sergeant Maurer is going to take this unit to the next level. Uh, I know Des Moines Company will always be the best company in this battalion. Of course, I'm biased, uh, but I think it's, uh, it's at the leadership of the First Sergeant level. NCOs, without a doubt, are the backbone of the use rec. And they're more than just back room, uh, they're really the lifeblood. So uh, I wish uh, First Sergeant Lake all the best. Vicki, ma'am, you as well. Uh, First Sergeant Maurer, best of luck. Uh, I know you really don't need much luck with these soldiers, uh, the ones in front of you and the ones that aren't here. Um, but uh, we're always here for you. Uh, God bless. The Command Sergeant Major of Minneapolis Recruiting Battalion, Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Crow. Good morning. Uh, Command Sergeant Major uh, Wright Sprecher, uh, Major Davis, First Sergeant Edgerton, uh, Mr. Jeff uh, Johnson, distinguished guests, family members, and uh, most of all the NCOs of the uh, Des Moines uh, Recruiting Battalion or Recruiting Company Warriors. Uh, before I begin, uh, I'd like to give a round of applause to these, uh, this company of professional non-commissioned officers we see before And uh, today's bittersweet as we say farewell to First Sergeant Lake and his wife Vicki. And we welcome a familiar leader in First Sergeant Maurer and his wife Jennifer. And to start, I'd like to, uh, you know, kind of describe uh, First Sergeant Lake's uh, tenure as uh, the first sergeant of the uh, Des Moines Recruiting Company. See, his job was people, and everyone was his business. He dedicated his time and energy to their needs, their health, morale, discipline, and welfare. He grew his strength by strengthening his people. His job is done by faith. His people built, it, built his faith, and his job was people. And I want to quickly uh, describe what the Army uh, describes the first sergeant in this way. When you're talking about the first sergeant, you're talking about the lifeblood of the Army. There could be no substitute for this position nor any question of its importance. When first sergeants are exceptional, their units are exceptional, regardless of any other single personality involved. Perhaps the rank insignia should be that of the keystone rather than the traditional one depicted. It is the first sergeant at whom Almost all unit operations merge. The first sergeant may swagger and appear at times somewhat of an exhibitionist, but he's not egotistical. The first sergeant is proud of the unit and understandably wants others to be aware of the unit's success. 
For the first time, the title of address for this grade is not sergeant, but first sergeant. There is a unique relationship of confidence and respect that exists between the first sergeant and the commander not found in any other level within the army. In the German army, the first sergeant is referred to as the father of the company. He is the provider, the disciplinarian, the wise counselor, the tough and unbending foe, the confident, the sounding board, everything that we need in a leader during our personal success or failure. Yes, First Sergeant Lake, uh, I just described him uh, pretty accurately there. You know, in addition, he orchestrated the phenomenal success of the company by counting for 498 enlistments into the regular Army and Army Reserve. He led the company to be recognized as the best of eight recruiting companies in our battalion the past two consecutive years. And as the battalion sergeant major, uh, I could always count on First Sergeant Lake to provide honest and candid feedback with regards to all matters of personnel, training, and production. In his next assignment, he'll be a vital member of the MOS proponency itself where his decisions will impact the entire 79 Romeo career field uh, for the better and in, into the future. And we wish him and Vicki the very best. Uh, job well done, First Sergeant. Now I want to talk a little bit about uh, First Sergeant Mauer. Uh, I have known First Sergeant Mauer and Jennifer for nearly eight years. And when I think of First Sergeant Mauer, three words come to my mind. Competence, integrity, and success. Not every time will the great First Sergeant be followed by another, but I'm glad it's happened today. First Sergeant Mauer, you're back where you belong, leading soldiers. Warriors lead the way. The outgoing first sergeant of Des Moines Recruiting Company, First Sergeant Lake. Good morning, Major Davis, CSM Crow, Man Sergeant Major. Uh, I'm going to mess it up. We're glad you're here today and uh, be a part of this. Uh, and my uh, fellow friends, thank you for being here. Uh, my father and mother, uh, Richard and Mary Ellen, have come from Pennsylvania, and my uncle Bill Clark from Texas have come uh, to be here for me on this occasion. Thank you for being here for me, and uh, I, too, thank you for your service. My father is retired Air Force, and my uncle has served four years in the Air Force uh, back in the Vietnam era. Over 24 years ago, I first told my father that I was joining the Army, and he asked, why aren't you joining the Air Force? Uh, seven years later, I told him I outranked him, and he said, son, I brought you into this world. I can still take you out. Uh, I know that I've honored my family, and they are truly proud of my service, too. Ladies and gentlemen, I, too, would like to ask that you please give a large round of applause for the soldiers you see before you. They have given every ounce of their energy to provide the strength to our Army by covering over 22,000 square miles of the great state of Iowa. They've been asked to do so much with so few in an ever-changing environment. Some say that recruiting for our Army today is like playing with that old Tupperware toy you can buy for your children where they learn to place a square peg in a square hole. The Army and the defense of our nation starts with the men you see before you. They provide the strength that makes our Army strong. They recruit for the best of the best, and I'm proud to say that they are the, one, the, the top company in the Minneapolis Battalion and among the top five of 158 recruiting companies within our brigade footprint, covering 10 states. They have filled our local Army reserves to over 110% strength, and as you heard the Command Sergeant Major say, over 480 enlistments from this area alone, filling our active and Army Reserve forces in partnership with our comrades, the Army National Guard. Uh, that's a grand total of 480 enlistments that over the last 24 months average over 20 enlistments per month uh, for this company, which is a huge success in that large of an area. The leaders of this forma formation uh, are who make a first sergeant's job the easiest. Leaders like Sergeant First Class Van Brockenhusen, who's been a member of this Uh, Des Moines Recruiting Center, who has led that station to be one of the top 
it's ever been in this battalion and recognized it extremely for its reserve counterparts and its ability to adapt to those changes. Sergeant First Class Strong, our newest addition, Sergeant Story, Sergeant Couture, Sergeant Hatfield, and many more who actively lead from their positions as recruiters, motivating young men and women to serve in our Army. And they're truly amazing individuals, and I thank you for your dedication. While they not only recruit for our strength, they're active members of our community, establishing relationships in over 127 high schools and 18 colleges throughout our footprint. The other sole person in this formation whom you don't see in the formation, who is the glue that holds a command team together, is our company admin assistant, Renee Sawyer. She sees first sergeants come and go, but she, see, but she is always here to keep the new guy on track and in sync with the battalion. Renee, you're an amazing person to work with, and I want to tell you thank you for everything you've done for us. I see you over there. Uh, thank you for everything you've done and uh, continue to do for the soldiers of this formation. If there was an admin assistant of the year, you would win it every year. Thank you. The first sergeant is not merely the first sergeant is on his own. He is the first sergeant because of his team. And while it is a privilege to lead soldiers and not a right that comes at a price, if it were not for the families who have supported us, we could not prove to be the soldiers we are today. I would like to thank the spouses and families of these soldiers who have supported their efforts and all they do every day to make our Army strong. I would also like to thank my wife, Vicki, for her support and my family for supporting me in my career. I would also like to take this time to thank the many friends who have gathered here today to support me. We came here making lasting friendships and I leave here today with an extended family. I will never forget all the support and friendship you have extended me and my wife Vicki throughout our tour here in Des Moines, Iowa. You will all be missed and we will be back to visit you soon. First Sergeant Maurer, when a First Sergeant leaves, uh, sometimes someone approaches a new First Sergeant and says, you got big shoes to fill. Well, I, uh, I say it's a good thing we wear the same shoe size. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're the right fit for this team. You and Jennifer will make a tremendous addition to the uh, Des Moines Warrior team. You have the knowledge and the experience to take this company and enjoy its much continued success. You've been a true friend to me and my wife during your time at the MEPS as a senior guidance counselor, and you will be a great mentor and coach to the soldiers who stand before you. There is no doubt in my mind that you will be extremely successful in all that's asked of you to command and lead this team of highly motivated and dedicated NCOs. Major Davis and Sergeant Major Crow, I want to thank you for this tremendous opportunity to lead the finest soldiers our Army has to offer. I thank you for your leadership over the past two years and will always be indebted to you for this opportunity. Thank you. First Sergeant of the Des Moines Recruiting Company, First Sergeant Maurer. Major Davis, Command Sergeant Major Crow, Command Sergeant Major Bright Sprecher, <laughs> distinguished guests, family, and friends. I thank God and I feel truly blessed to be here following the path that He has intended for me. Thank you to my family for the support and sacrifices that you have made to help me reach this objective. Sir, Sir Major, thank you for this opportunity. The way ahead for the Des Moines Warriors will continue to be successful. Distinguished guests, family, and friends, it is an honor that you took the time out of your busy schedule to be here. Thanks to you all. Soldiers, you look great today. And you represent the Des Moines, War the Des Moines Warriors well, I look forward to serving with you. Thanks again to everyone for being there. Company. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song. Army. 